First and ten for Liberty now. I heard about this guy. Over the middle. He had great hands. Completes it to Eric Green. Great athlete. Green, 50-yard line. And then when I saw him, 30. It, it was like, you know, Michael Jordan. Like Mike, Sam Martigliano saw Liberty's senior tight end Eric Green as a game changer. Green is so big and has such good speed, he's hard to bring down. But Green had seen limited playing time in his first three seasons at Liberty. I got to fine tune my blocking. That's what I take from those first three years. You know, I wanted to see the ball more, but that just didn't happen. In the fall of 1989, that would all change. Under Liberty's new head coach, Sam Martigliano, Eric Green would become a big part of the Flames' offense. Green is a threat. Sam came in there, and from day one, he explained to me how many catches I was going to have in his offense. As a player who wanted to receive the ball a lot more, that was like heaven. That was like heaven to me, so I was locked in from day one with Coach Sam. Having spent 19 seasons coaching in the NFL, Coach Sam believed Green could be a tight end in the pros. I said, you have that kind of ability. All I'm gonna say is that to you now, because, you know, uh, whatever I say means a lot, but whatever you do means a lot more. My workout level went to another level. My intense training went to another level. The weight room went to another level. My studies went to another level. Everything about me went to another level. As a result of his hard work and mentoring by Coach Sam, Green finished his senior year with 62 catches, 905 receiving yards, and 10 touchdowns. And he was Liberty's first NCAA Division I AP All-American. But the highlight of Green's college career came when Liberty played Eastern Michigan. It was a timeout with 12 seconds left in the game. Robbie Justino was on the sidelines with Coach, and you know, they was on the sideline talking to him and Coach Leahy and Coach Sam. I was wondering what the conversation was about because I'm the guy all before, you know. So I, I runs over to the sideline, and I say, Coach, just get me the ball. Coach looked at the quarterback and said, get him the ball. And just before time expired, Green got the ball. He caught the game-winning touchdown pass from quarterback Robbie Justino. Liberty beat Eastern Michigan 25-24, Liberty's first ever win over an FBS school. Eric Green would then accomplish another first for Liberty. The boy from the poor streets of Savannah, Georgia, raised in a single parent household, was going to play in the NFL. The Pittsburgh Steelers would select him as the 21st pick overall in the 1990 NFL Draft, and Coach Sam would guide Eric throughout the process. Sam helped me choose my first agent, you know? He helped me, he guided me. That was my mentor, still is my mentor. Green spent 10 seasons in the NFL, was AFC Rookie of the Year and a two-time Pro Bowler, scored 36 touchdowns and caught more than 360 passes. He also transformed the tight end position, but not like Mike, like Magic. In an offense, Eric Green was used as a wide receiver, slot back, wing back, H back, and running back. And it wouldn't have been possible without Sam Martigliano. I always liked the fact that he was smart. I always liked the fact that he came from nothing. I always liked the fact that he always gave you his A game. Together, Eric Green and Sam Ritigliano were inducted into the Liberty Sports Hall of Fame, and their appreciation for one another continues to grow. To this day, I run through a wall for Coach Sam because he's only been a model of consistency, and that's all a man can ask for. If a hug and a feeling of exhilaration going into the Hall of Fame together, if that doesn't get it, and if that ain't what coaching's all about, then I've been doing the wrong thing for 50 years.